Hi, I'm Heather Jama, and I'm one of the teaching pastors at South Point Church, and I have the privilege of sharing with you today, day eight from our 21 days of prayer and fasting. So the theme of day eight is all things new in my church and community. And the scripture reading today is from Luke 19, one through nine. And this is the story of Zacchaeus. So I'm going to read it to you. Luke 19, one through nine. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it. Now a man named Zacchaeus was there. He was the chief tax collector and he was rich. He was trying to get a look at Jesus, but being a short man, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him because Jesus was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down quickly because I must stay at your house today. So he came down quickly and welcomed Jesus joyfully. And when the people saw it, they all complained. He has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. But Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, half of my possessions I now give to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone of anything, I am paying back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this household, because he too is a son of Abraham. I love this story because Jesus sees Zacchaeus like nobody else there sees him. Zacchaeus was a tax collector and he was very, very wealthy. And tax collectors got wealthy by cheating people on their taxes. Tax collectors were hated because they partnered with the government against their own people. And Zacchaeus, being the kind of man that nobody else wanted to be around, Jesus still wanted to be around him. Jesus still loved him and reached out to him. Zacchaeus showed that he had interest in who Jesus was and wanted to know him more by climbing up into that tree. That couldn't have been an easy thing to do. It must have been a little bit embarrassing to be so short that you had to go climb a tree. But Jesus took notice. He took notice of a man that nobody else wanted anything to do with. And he went to his house to have fellowship with him. Jesus didn't go up to him and tell him all the ways he was wrong or how, what a terrible person he had been and how he had sinned and needed to repent. He loved him. And the conviction of God touched his heart and allowed him to change his entire life. God has called us to be like Jesus. What people do you come in contact with every day that you may not see as people who would become followers of Jesus, but God sees them as people that could be his followers? What people are you around that nobody would think could become a Christ follower? And yet, if you just share your testimony with them, if you just share what Christ has done for you, it might change things for them. They might become like Zacchaeus, someone that was completely unlike any follower of God who changes their life completely to follow God with everything that they are. So our prayer points today... Ask God to open your eyes to new spaces that give opportunities for new relationships. Ask God to show you the people that he wants you to minister to. Ask God, who are the people at your work, at your kid's school, that at your school, wherever you are, who are the people that God wants you to minister to? Secondly, pray to be undeterred as Jesus was and being ridiculed for being with those who others didn't understand. So Jesus wasn't afraid of what others said about him because he was hanging out with Zacchaeus. Who is it? that you're willing to hang out with, even if the other people won't understand. Even if they're not the kind of person that you normally would hang out with. Even if they're nothing like you, and you don't think your friends would really want them to be around. Who's that person that still wants to know who Jesus is? Who you could share your faith with? And thirdly, spend time meditating on how your church can demonstrate Christ-like hospitality. So I want to encourage you, when you come to church... Look for somebody that's not sitting with someone else. Look for someone that's new, someone you don't recognize. Look to reach out to the people that um, Christ would want you to reach out to when you're at church. And make them feel a part of the family of God. Thank you for joining me today. And I encourage you to continue to spend some time with the Lord and fast whatever God has laid on your heart to fast. And may you be blessed during this season. Bye.